the most attentive of you could have noticed that posting documents is one of the few procedures with open code. The platform automatically creates such actions as deletion, saving, and similar, thus enabling respective features. And there is no way we can modify them. The posting procedure is also created automatically via the record wizard. But in this case, we can decide what kind of data we want to save and how we want to break it down. Let us dive into document purchases to learn more about the posting procedure. What do we need the posting procedure for? We add records to register debt to store the information on amounts that we owe to our contractor. And here is how it works. Pay attention to comments. The platform creates them, thus indicating the location of the automatically created code. Then we set property right to true to enable writing of data into specified registers. It is also possible to call method write. Method add serves to add a new record in register debt immediately on completion of posting procedure. Now we add data to our record. First, we set record type to receipt, thus increasing the amount we owe to a contractor for supplied products. Then we add the remaining data. Also, pay attention to the parameters of the posting procedure. If we set cancel to true, the posting procedure gets canceled, and parameter mode is a system one. Let's talk about that. Imagine you sell something after the end of the day, which well, is slightly against the rules, or forget to add data into the database in time. To handle the issue, we need property real-time posting. By setting it to enable, we can pick any date in the past and post the document with this date. Let's see how it works. But first, we want to remove filters from attribute contract, as we don't need them anymore. In 1C Enterprise mode, when posting a document with a date in the past, the document gets an asterisk like this. Add a breakpoint anywhere in the posting procedure and take a look at parameter mode. This parameter has two values, real time and regular. Real-time allows posting documents in real-time. Regular does not allow posting documents in real-time. It is useful when you want to assign a past date. Pay attention to how the system sets date and time in documents. We cannot set the exact time. Instead, the system sets it automatically. The reason for it is to prevent posting contradicting documents and thus avoid breaking the system. If appropriately set, the system does not allow posting documents that contradict data in the system. And we can congratulate Johnny on the promotion. Well done, Johnny. Now, there is one more thing regarding document posting. Sometimes there is no need to post some documents at all. If this is the case, we utilize the following property. Should we set it disable, button post simply goes away. 